We have gathered here today for the love, friendship, and family to celebrate the wedding together of two wives. This Brooklyn might come before you years too. We will leave this place as one, united in marriage. As family of friends, each of you has played a part in bringing them to this moment. And in your own way, will continue to contribute and support their relationship. We celebrate this unique time in their lives and give us strength with an attitude of respect and a deep commitment to each other. Broken Mike has asked several of their closest friends and family members to share some words about love and commitment. At this time, we invite Broken Mike's good friend, Megan to please come forward and share her reading. The Fighting Irish have played such an integral role in Brooke and Mike's relationship. I thought it was really appropriate to start off today with an Irish wedding blessing. May the light of friendship guide your paths together. May the laughter of children grace the halls of your home. May the joy of living for one another put a smile upon your lips and twinkle in your eyes. May your mornings bring joy and your evenings bring peace. May your troubles grow few as your blessings increase. May the saddest day of your future be no worse than the happiest day of your past. May your hands be forever clasped in friendship and your hearts forever in love. May you both live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. And may you always have enough happiness to keep you sweet, trials to keep you strong, success to make you eager, friendship to give you comfort, wealth to meet your needs, enthusiasm to look for tomorrow, and a growing love make every day better than the last. Thank you, Megan. And next we have Mike's old roommate and a close friend, Chris Sanders. We'll be reading an excerpt from Song of the Open Road by Walt Whitman. Listen, I will be honest with you. I do not offer the old smooth prizes, but offer rough new prizes. These are the days that must happen to you. You shall not heap up what is called riches. You shall scatter with lavish hand all that you earn or achieve. However sweet the laid up stores, however convenient the dwellings, you shall not remain there. However sheltered the port, and however calm the waters, you shall not anchor there. However welcome the hospitality, that welcomes you, you are committed to receive it but a little while. A foot and lighthearted take to the open road, healthy, free, the world before you. The long brown path before you, leading wherever you choose. Say only to one another, I give you my hand, I give you my love more precious than money. Will you travel together? Will you stick by each other as long as you both live? Thank you, Chris. Brooke and Mike, you realize in a greater sense no other person can truly marry you, but you can marry yourself. By your pledge to work all your hearts toward creating an atmosphere of care and respect, you yourselves more surely marry each other than any document you decide to go for. You love for, your love for one another and your willingness to accept each other's strengths and frailties will cement the foundation for life together. As a friend who has seen your relationship blossom from students at Notre Dame and now adults in my career, I've met Sats and your love. I remember when Mike had just come back from studying abroad in London. He kept telling me about this amazing girl he had met in Europe. He told me how comfortable he felt about her, how special she was, and how beautiful and lovely hot she was. When I finally did meet her, I was a nervous wreck because I knew how important she was going to be in this life. Once Brooke and I got to talking, I understood exactly why Mike felt so strong. At this point, I knew that someday you guys would be standing here in marriage. And then this past Valentine's Day, and you guys got engaged, and then I saw Brooke's ring, and I thought, wow, he really put his money where his mouth is. <laughs> Brooke and Mike, in all seriousness, you have a long life ahead of you, and no one knows what that life will bring. But with your dedication and commitment to love each other, 
the obstacles that lie ahead of you, we face with the strength of two instead of one. To talk further about love and commitment, we invite Brooks Oldman and their close friend, Mary Murphy, to share a few words. A reading from The Little Prince by Antoine de saint -Isabelle. The Little Prince said to me, Tonight it will be a whole year. My star can then be found right above the place where I landed on Earth a year ago. If you love a flower that lives on a star, it is sweet to look at the sky at night. All the stars are like flowers blooming in the sky. There is a flower on that star. I think she's tamed me. One only understands the things that one tames. In herself alone, she is impo more important than all hundreds of the other flowers, because she is my flower. It is a time that I've spent for my flower that makes her so important. You become responsible forever for what you have tamed. I am responsible for my flower on my star. Where I live, everything is so small that I cannot show you exactly where my star is. It is better that way. My star will be just one of the stars for you. For you will love looking at all the stars in the heavens. They will be your friends. He laughed again. And now, here is my secret. A very simple secret. It is, the, it is only with the heart that one can see right here. What is essential is invisible to the eye. Most people have forgotten this truth, but you must not forget it. Thank you, Mary. And we saved the best reading for last. I would now like to invite my seven-year-old niece, Addie, and please join us here to share her wisdom and love. All you need is love by the Beatles. Love, love, love. There's nothing you can do that can't be done. Nothing you can sing that can't be sung. Nothing you can say, but you can learn, learn how to play the game. It's easy. Nothing you can make that can't be made. No one you can say that can't be said. Nothing you can do, but you can learn how to play the game. It's easy. There's nothing you can do that can... Nothing you can know that can't, isn't known. Nothing you can see that isn't shown. Nowhere you can be that isn't where you're meant to be. It's easy. All you need is love. All you need is love. Thank you, Abby. <laughs> For many years, people have exchanged rings as a token of their vows. These simple bands are not of great value in themselves, but are made precious by a wearing of them. Let these rings be a sign of that love as a past, a present, and a future. And, this, and despite its occasional sorrows, love is a circle of joyous wonder and delight. At this time, Brooke and Mike will have to share some words to express their devotion. of a double-decker bus, one of the first times that we hung out. Looking back on our relationship, there are so many amazing things about you that have made me fall harder and harder as the years have gone by. I love your thoughtfulness. So many fun memories of coming home from a long day of work or law school to sitting on my front porch as you came into town for a surprise visit. 
I promise to always be as thoughtful towards you as you are towards me. You always make me mad. I promise to try to take things less seriously, laugh with you, <laughs> and appreciate the little things. Your support over the last years has meant the world to me. You've been there for me through the start of law school up to the bar exam, and I appreciate your support so much, even when it's something small like having dinner ready when you know I've had a long day. I promise to always support you. I would promise to help out more in the kitchen, but I know you hold me to it, so I'm going to set that aside for now. Your enthusiasm and the amount of effort that you put into this wedding has amazed me. And I promise to always put that much enthusiasm and effort into our marriage. Mike, you've been a wonderful boyfriend, best friend, fiance, and now husband. No matter what, I will love you. Hey, bro. <laughs> so. So, uh, from, the, from the moment I first laid my eyes on you, I knew. That's one fine piece there. But then I got to know you better and started falling for the woman of my dreams. Uh, you, you challenge me, you make me be a better man. You're smarter than me, you're prettier than me, that's alright. You never eat all the food off your plate, you give me the leftovers. I think this marriage can really work. <laughs> Whether you're happy or sad, I promise to always make you smile. Whether you're nervous or calm, I promise to always help you relax. Head rubs? Whether you're... Whether you're... <coughs> get that one. <laughs> in the best of times and in the worst of times, I will always love you. You're everything I ever wanted in a wife. You are, wait for it, amazing. <laughs> Bro, take Mike's ring, place it on his finger, and share your thoughts and words on this ring. With this ring, I give you my heart. Mike, take Brooks room, place it in our camera, and share with us your thoughts on the meeting of this room. With this ring, I give you my heart. I promise from this day forward, you shall not walk alone. May my heart be your shelter, and my arms be your home. Inasmuch as you have sealed your vows in the presence of those gathered here, by the giving of those rings, and your consent to live together in marriage, it gives me much pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Speech and kiss the bride. <laughs>